Next up, we've got a fantastic, actually, um, something a bit different, something we know have seen before, uh, under the name Asthmatic Heart. Now, Hannah, who has Asthmatic Heart, is from Denmark, and she has been basically all our little radio and things like that. She's been on Tom Robinson's show, uh, like myself, fantastic. Uh, we had her on the stage here. Yeah. And it was just something completely like we've never seen before. And now you can see it. She didn't yeah. sound asthmatic. No, 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 he's, no, he's at all. Like we are both asthmatic mm -hmm. and uh, we're really unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Really unhealthy. You can see how pale we are. Yeah, she sounds great though. So yeah. have a good listen. Hello there. I am Asthmatic Up and I've been really looking forward to playing this concert. I'm going to be playing some songs from my recent record that I released in November. It's called Things We Learn to Live With. And do you know what? Like, believe it or not, that title was set before the pandemic hit. But yeah, you can take my word for it. Here's the first song. It's called Five Day Forecast. It stayed mild throughout the week Against my predictions Against all odds We were speaking Thank you. 
strong winds soon to batter Britain again. That was five day forecast for my recent album, Things We Learn to Live With. And you can find that online and you can find it as a physical copy as well. And now I'm going to play, this is actually the, the last song on my record, and now I'm going to play the first song on my record. It's called Bird of Paradise, and um, it's a song about love and falling in love and being scared and springtime. But it's also a song that I have like a certain memory with. Um, so I, I think two years ago, something like that, I was um, I was playing a gig, my biggest gig ever, um, in the Camden Roundhouse. I was basically standing on the biggest stage I'd ever stand, been standing on with the biggest audience I'd ever played to. Um, and I found myself being absolutely terrified, but not so much of like playing the songs or like forgetting the lyrics or anything like that, more like, what if I pronounce the name of this artist that I'm supporting, what if I get his name wrong? And uh, perhaps I did, I actually don't know. All I remember is that this was the song I started with and it's called Bird of Paradise. <laughs> Let's walk through the greenhouse, travel through time and sea. A bird of paradise, you're telling me it's in your parents' backyard. Brightly colored birds in flight, bluish green eyes. Brightly colored birds in flight, bluish green eyes. What is this thing called spring, you're asking me? Well, what are the odds, hypothetically? I'm measuring seconds, moments of your light. Are you eager to read? the lyrics I'm writing Brightly colored bites in flight bluish green eyes Brightly colored bites in flight bluish green eyes
That was Bird of Paradise. Now onto a song called Limbo. And um, Limbo was actually a poem written by um, a poet that I met in a basement of a pub in Nottingham a couple of years ago. Um, and I saw this amazing poet um, called Roma Havers perform this poem. And I was completely blown away um, and starstruck as well. So like straight after her performance, I went up to her and I was like, can I please put a melody to this poem? Because it's amazing. Um, and she said yes, so, so that was quite lucky. And um, then she told me that this song was written overnight in a bathtub in Hull. Um, and I think that's probably where the best um, poems get written. Um, and uh, yeah, here's Limbo. This isn't public art anymore. This is intimacy made So you want to look away Unless you have the stomach for it I wanted to hold your hand But I was so far away And I was distracted by the way you look surplus to your moon face you articulate mime must you pale that way like a slowly freezing pond and if this is a kind of ending let it be a kind one this terrible birthday present Just a small rock of ice shavings After ungrateful slice of blade Gift wrapped in Mondays I wanted to hold your hand But I was so far away And I was distracted by the way Your lower lip was surplus to your moon you articulate my Must you pale that way Like a slowly freezing pond Myself anymore, or if I even recognized my voice when I replayed the tapes. Oh, take your time. Particular mime, must you pale that way like a slowly freezing pond? The problem of comfort and comforting is not what matters but how we make a maturing of it I wanted to hold your hand but I was so far away and I was distracted 
distracted by the way your lower lip was surplus to your moon face. You articulate mime. Must you pale that way? Like a slowly freezing pond. That was limbo. And now, let me tell you something. It's a bit of a secret, actually. So um, I'm originally from Denmark, and um, that's great. Except when people ask me, hang on a minute, where's your accent from? And I'm like, oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's because I'm Danish. And then that, that's a good part of it. But then they'll say, wow, amazing. So I've watched The Bridge, I've watched The Killing, all these crime series coming from Denmark, like, oh, you're amazing at creating these TV series. I love them. And then this is the part where I feel that I'm a traitor because I haven't watched them. Um, I've got the accent, I've got my knitted jumper, but I, I cannot watch these things. I'm so scared. Like, <laughs> I just I can't watch it. It's just too terrifying. And I don't know if it's because all these murders happen, like, in and around the areas where I grew up and, you know, where my little little brother's walking around and being toddlers and cute. And, but, like, I can't. I just can't watch it. And, um, and, yeah, now you know. I'm sorry. I, yeah, let you down. But, anyway, instead, I've written a song that's sort of a bit in the same category. Like, this is, this is my version of, like, a um, Scandi, Scandi Noir, as they call them. And this song is called Moorgate, and um, I hope you won't have any nightmares tonight. I woke up one morning just to realize I was dead First I heard the church bells ringing Then I found the stone above my head Will you bring my mother flowers? Will you bring my lover back to sleep? I end up here why don't you tell me what they did to me was it a gruesome murder did they shoot me or did they kill me with a knife or with an axe or did they drown me in the river did they make it look like I was suicidal were they clever I want to know thank you for the bed of roses someone brought a pile of lilies too I appreciate the candles, were they from a person that I knew? Have you paid the undertaker? Did he put these curls in my hair? Cause I don't like this black dress either, I look like a woman in despair. Did they kill me with a knife or with an axe or did they drown me in 
the river Did they make it look like I was suicidal? Were they clever? Were they caught by the police? And did I lose a lot of blood? Did the neighbors act like strangers or did they contribute to the plot? I want to know Did you sing the Irish blessing? Did you close the funeral and prayer? Did you ask for God's forgiveness? Do you really think that he was there? I will try the resting in peace. I will bring my whispers to the grave. But I hate the dust and silence, and I don't know how it dead behaves. How did I end up here? Why don't you tell me what they did to me? Was it a gruesome murder? Did they shoot me or did they kill me with a knife or with an axe? Or did they drown me in the river? Did they make it look like I was suicidal? Were they clever? Were they caught by the police? And did I lose a lot of blood? Did the neighbors act like strangers or did they contribute to the plot? Were they caught by the police and did I lose a lot of blood? Did the neighbors act like strangers or did they contribute to the plot? I want to know. So I sincerely hope that you'll be able to sleep tonight, but I won't. <laughs> Now, the auto harp is my favorite instrument in the world, I think. But um, yeah, it is. Actually, it is. It's true, it is. And uh, perhaps that's why I'm called asthmatic harp. Who knows? I'm going to play a song called Drones Over Gatwick. And um, maybe you remember, I was living in London at the time. Um, and I remember there were, th there were these drone sightings over Gatwick Airport and it was just creating such a mess. Um, it was, I think it must have been around Christmas um, because I remember several of my friends, um, like international friends, were trying to get home and it was an absolute nightmare and they ended up like in different airports all across the UK and they couldn't fly back and everybody thought, oh, wow, this is an incredible moment. Like, you know, the, the planes can't land anywhere. Wow, that won't ever happen again. <laughs> then it did. <laughs> but, um, but what was quite strange about the drone sightings was that they never really caught them, did they? I don't think they did. Like, they didn't, and they didn't really properly catch the drones on camera. So it was just like, well, it was a, it was a bit like, were they there? Or was it just somebody, was it just rumors? Um, and I just kept thinking about these drones and like the sound of like drones. And then um, I remember then in the summer, I think maybe the following summer, um, there was a, uh, a president, now not president any longer, but at the time a president that visited London. And um, that the way he arrived in the city was like with really, really heavy, um, the helicopters, like it was like war had arrived in my street because I remember they were like circling over our flat and our windows were like literally shaking and a uh, wooden table was shaking and everything was shaking and they were like old grannies shouting um, out of their windows, shouting like, go home! Um, and it was a really wild time. Um, and uh, yeah, it got me thinking. And it got me thinking about borders and home and belonging and like the fact that, oh yeah, there's, there's a sea separating me from big parts of my family at the moment, the North Sea. Um, so yeah, I wrote a song about that and it's called 
thrones over Gatwick. Just because she said so Doesn't mean she cares Just because she loves him Doesn't mean she can She is just restless But no one cares to see She just drifts further and further away In the North Sea Is it the drone? Is it the constant hum in my ear? Oh, am I too Scandinavian? Do I not belong here? Just because he knows her Doesn't mean he knows Not until it matters Then it matters most He is just restless But no one cares to see He just drifts further and Drones over Gatwick. Is it the constant hum in my ear? Or am I too Scandinavian? Do I? Just because it feels good Doesn't mean it's good Just because it matters Doesn't mean it should We are just restless But no one cares to see We just drift further and further Is it the drums over Gatwick? Is it the constant coming my ear? Or am I too Scandinavian? Do I not?
That was Thrones over Gatwick, and you will also find that on my latest record, Things We Learned to Live With. Now, a really special song, a song that I wrote for my best friend and my childhood friend. Um, and what's really interesting about our relationship is that we've never really lived in the same place on the same city. Like, we've always um, been living really far away from each other. Um, so much that, like, when we were quite small children, like, we got really used to taking the train. Um, and now she lives in Denmark and I live here in Glasgow. Um, but there's a particular memory that, um, that I keep thinking of when I think of our relationship. Um, and it was this thing we did, like, we, I remember we were in a garden and uh, we built, like, some sort of spaceship or, like, rocket. And then, um, you know, we, we went into the house, got all our dolls, our Barbie dolls and stuff, and, like, we chucked them in this spaceship um, on this rocket. And um, then we, uh, you know, settled in, put our seatbelts on, and then we flew off to the moon. Um, and that's what we did. And still to this day, I can't believe that NASA hasn't been in touch with us because, I mean, I think that was pretty amazing. I understand they've been a bit busy um, with the, the Mars landing recently, but, you know, maybe after that, then they'll get in touch. But, I mean, I'm here, so just phone me. Um, this song is about our relationship, but it's also about, it's about the kind of, not necessarily a physical distance in relationships, but... Um, the distance that comes from maybe not quite being in the same headspace and not really knowing where to find each other, how to communicate. Um, and this song is called To The Boats. Tree by
that was my song, To the Boats, and that is also on my latest record. Um, that was my late last song. I really enjoyed uh, playing these um, songs. I was supposed to have gone on a house concert tour, um, and it was supposed to have started like roughly a year ago. Um, and then, in a way, I ended up going on a house concert tour because I was doing so many um, live streams from my own house, but it was not quite how I imagined it. Um, but thank you so much for um, keeping the music alive. Thank you for listening to the music. Um, and thank you to Southside Fringe for supporting local artists like me. I'm Asthmatic Harp, and thank you for listening. <laughs>